It is March 21st, 2023 in Savannah, Georgia. I'm at the Georgia Southern University's Armstrong campus. And this is the end of a really long parking lot. And there's university housing right over there. And then another parking lot here and right on the corner, starting like over here and extending over here is a Southern crab apple. Malus angustifolia. Oh, okay. Hold on, we're pausing the video to look at this. Nope, it disappeared. There was a tiny little yellow ladybug. It's on the bottom of the leaf now, so we're gonna spawn on it quick. Look at that little tiny ladybug. Anyways, Malus angustifolia is a native crab apple to North America. And like most of the crab apples you can buy in the flowering crab apples you can buy in stores. Usually they are Japanese crab apples. And like with wisterias and persimmons, the reason that there are well, apples in Asia and North America is because they used to be the same continent way, way back when, so they have the same common ancestors. And then the species split off as the continents did and just evolved different ways. Most domestic apples, I don't, actually don't know what their species name is, but they are from Asia because they were domesticated over there. But this is a wild apple. It's native to a lot of the southern states in the U.S. I can't think of a list right now, but as you can see, it has a bright red new growth stem it's slightly fuzzy and the newest leaves are growing in red some of them like extremely like ruby red right here which is why i noticed the plant because in the summer here there's a ton of vines and other trees that'll grow their leaves in that almost completely cover it but this one has, let me make sure there's no snakes. This one has three flowers on the stem. Probably not going to form fruit because it's only three flowers. And it's only this single individual as far as I can tell. But the newer leaves, they start out really serrated and like I said red and then they'll turn green but they'll keep their dramatic serrations on the sides here and then as you get to the older leaves they're rounder with softer littler serrations and this one has like a red spot on it which is interesting oh what is that well there's something come on if it'll focus Some type of gall which I have not seen before which is cool oh my gosh camera you have one job okay let me zoom in there we go this cool spiky gall on the back of the leaf and then on the other side it's like blood red so that is just cool and since I'm looking at that look over here the leaf literally looks like it's splashed with blood let's see what's on the other side might just be nothing um not really much but here's another one of those galls right here so this is fun and this is why native plants are cool. So I'm not sure what kind of insect left these galls, but we're all gonna find out. I'm trying to see if there's any more. And this is a green briar, green briar climbing on it, which is one of the reasons I couldn't see this plant last year. And uh, what else did I want to say? 
talked about the leaves. Uh, this here is a big dead branch that I assume came off of this tree at some point. So the branches seem to be really uniform and opposite each other. Like they're really straight. And you can see some of that on here. Like these kind of look like little thorns. And then since this is, most of these trees are not very good at pollinating themselves or they just straight up can't at all, uh, they form colonies by spreading out through horizontal roots to form root suckers like this one, this, and this one. And then there's just a bunch, there's a bunch right here. There's a taller stem there. Here's another little one. And if we go over here, there's some right here. See, they've still got the red leaves at the top, which is the easiest way to notice them right now. March, we'll find out when they stop doing that. Just don't step on that fire at nest, because you'll regret it. So here's another section of the tree. And here are some shining sumac which I'm going to take these because I want to grow some. If you crush these leaves up and smell them, they smell like applewood, if you've ever smelled that. Or, well, I guess it kind of smells like apples, the fruit. But mostly it just smells like applewood. So, at home, I took a few cuttings of this already. I took some branch cuttings, and I pulled up one or two of the root suckers to see if we can clone it. This is the first wild apple tree I have ever found, so it is extremely exciting. Like I said, it's 2023, and this plant was here in 2022, I just didn't notice it. And I know it was here because I looked at some of my old pictures of this sparkleberry here, because I had some pictures where I stood back like this, and you can see all the little root suckers. So yeah, this corner down here is pretty exciting because there's a sparkleberry and there's a southern crab apple. And also a greenbrier for people who like greenbriers. They are cool. Can't really think of anything else to show you right now because, well, I guess we can show you the flowers a bit more since there's no snakes here right now. Oh, and there's another gall, I think. I think this leaf has another gall on it. Oh, maybe not, but they're epic. So here's the flowers. Let me put my hand behind it because the sun is right there. So it had three flowers here and this seems to be the only ones that I can see. So it'll probably do more flowers next year. So if you're anywhere near Savannah, Georgia, and you have one of these trees, if you would want to trade some cuttings, we can trade cuttings so that this one can maybe produce fruit. Or at least the cuttings I took of it can, if we can't plant it here. And this is wild. The Armstrong University campus here does have a botanical garden, but they don't plant anything over here as far as I can tell which I'm, they don't have anybody in charge of the garden at the moment. Otherwise I'd say, hey, did you know this was here? So it's pretty cool. I found another gall. Oh, there's two more. Okay, so there's that one back there. And there's another one right here. So these are gonna go on iNaturalist and I'm gonna find out what species they are. Cause that is just cool. Oh, camera. And that's just blood right on the back. So that's awesome. Okay. Yep, that's it. Bye-bye.